I think it's very innovative. Of course, we always saw that we have migrants. Uh, how do we deal with it? And, and this is really a way of seeing it. How can we do it differently? Lestia stands for Helping Students in Acceptance. Okay, this Lestia uh, project has been born uh, out of actually our need to deal with the new people coming from other countries, the new migrant pupils. I think we face how to welcome them and integrate them in our school in the best way. So we needed a university partner to guide us through this procedure. As a university and as a research group that specialised in migration studies, Union Merit's main contribution to the project was this one-week workshop that we held in January. And so for this we wanted to, to inform teachers more about the migration phenomenon in general. So where are the migrants in their countries coming from? Who are these migrants? Why are they coming to these countries? And what sort of differences can they expect from them? To sort of help them develop a more critical understanding of integration and also the role that schools can play in integration. And then also to share very practical tips, do's and don'ts, with the help of experts in the Netherlands. So for this purpose, we invited an anti-bullying expert, Luke uh, Schoenmakers, from the Kiva organization. The tool is, of course, communication, mm -hmm. talking with each other. It's not only talking, because it's talking is using words, but also how you look like and your expression and all kinds of things. I think he gave us some tools to deal with bullying. He gave us examples that we easily could understand, so I like it very much. The workshops were really, really interesting. We learned a lot about trauma, about how to deal with some problems we can face uh, when we talk about migrant students. So we have that, and it is difficult because discrimination can come out of it. I love to hear Martin Deltus. I think she's an amazing woman. She taught us a lot. Uh, there is a story with uh, those people. Now I know that I can understand those people. One thing that Martine was saying was to not be afraid to be a bit of a therapist to the child. Frankly, uh, they need to, to have a teacher, but a friend too. We had Ayla Bonfil and some of her colleagues from, the, from a new organization called CELL. Educational materials, in particular textbooks, are resources that students look to for unbiased and for accurate accounts about their histories and identities. But we don't often think that they might be just as susceptible to being manipulated. So we visited three schools in Maastricht. The first one, the United World College, is a semi-private international school that has a primary and secondary school element. The second one was the ESK, which is a linking school dedicated exclusively to migrant students. So students who come here and first have an intake class of one, two or a couple of years to sort of teach them uh, Dutch and in general train them to integrate into the Dutch educational system. And then the third school we visited was the Regenbog which is a local primary school that also used to host many refugees. The purpose of the school visits was for teachers to meet local peers who have also had experiences with teaching refugee or migrant children and be able to exchange these experiences and ask questions about any problems or challenges that they've encountered and how they solve these. I think that every teacher needs this kind of training. It's a pity just for two or three gives us some tools to work with migrant students and it will help us to deal with those children, what to do with them, how to listen, how to interact with them. It is also very rich for teachers because here teachers we can share with other teachers. Of course if you add all these uh, sessions, all these workshops, all these uh, school visits, it makes it great. At many moments I just wished I was here with my entire team.